So how did you come to Japan? Mm. Well, actually, our own time, uh, we came through the World Cup. World that, Cup? That was then they were playing soccer. Uh, which year? Uh, 2002 World Cup. <laughs> Ah, 2002 World Cup, yeah. Oh, really? And, uh, you know, we came in with a uh, tourist visa. Ah, uh, tourist visa. Yeah, a 90 days visa, you know. So when your visa finishes, you begin to hide it like you could create. I reckon, man, we don't want to go back. <laughs> Konishua is another beautiful day. And on today's video, I have my very good friend here with me. Oyster, please introduce yourself. Say hi to my people. Yeah, actually, it's a very wonderful, beautiful day. We have come to enjoy ourselves and prove the delight of the food we are eating once again in Obisan Vlog TV. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is Obisan TV Vlog. Please make sure you subscribe. Hi, Seno. Itarakimas. Japanese it's style. Style of <laughs> before you eat. Yes, so. That is right. Okay, put your water. That's great. Odogu. Okama. Thank you for honoring my invitation. Yeah. And today we are actually eating Ofe Onubo. Onubo. Onubo soup. Onubo soup, that's what we are having today. Yeah. With the fufu as usual. As usual. Yes, sir. That's great. I prepare good food. <laughs> you have not tested it. You have to test for it before you no, come it's for this food. I eat before. And then they booze early. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's gone. That's great. Yes, sir. First bite. <laughs> <laughs> You're, funny. First. <laughs> You're funny. You're <laughs> funny. Okay. Wow. How was it? It is sweet. How many points you give Obisan? Points, okay. Mm. Like if you are a teacher to give me scores for my food, mm. how many points you give me? When this is 99. 99? <laughs> That's a lot. And you know something, 99 is 100. It's 100. <laughs> if I say 100, yeah. it will look like mm. this guy is not serious. Yeah. <laughs> So mm -hmm. it's 99. Mm. Wow. Mm. I've told you. Mm. you must so, know. my brother. Yeah. Like, uh, how many years have you been living in Japan? Wow. Exactly 20 years in Japan. 20 years in Japan. I think that time I was still in primary school. <laughs> <laughs> Probably eating mama, thank you, mpa, thank you. Obi is not my boy. <laughs> yeah. Which means you are how many years old? I'm now 45 years old. Man, you don't look your age. What's the secret, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you go do a lot of exercise? No, actually, you have to be happy in your life. Mm. Yeah, you have to be happy. Be contented with yourselves. Always give thanks to God and be happy. Be proud of the way God creates you. Mm. Then you look more younger. That is your secret. So your secret is happiness. Happiness. Wow. Secret. No. So guys, it pays to be happy. So make sure you are happy so that you can live younger like my brother here, Oyster. I hope I can still look like you when I get 45. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of blessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you are blessed. Thank you, thank you. You are you're blessed. You're welcome. Mm. So, how did you come to Japan? Mm. Well, actually, our own time, uh, we came through the World Cup. World that, Cup? That was then they were playing soccer. Uh, which year? Uh, 2002 World Cup. Ah, 2002? World Cup, yeah. Oh, really? And since actually, 2000 and, mm. actually, the whole world came to Japan. South Korea, Japan, World Cup, you know? Ah, wow. Very interesting. Uh -huh. 
that was the opportunity that you used to come here. Yeah, came here. And Man, how was it when you came? Was it very difficult? It's difficult. How did you survive, bro? It's difficult, bro. How were you able to survive? Because you know, this is a situation where almost the whole world mm. came for the tournament. Mm. So it's very difficult for people to help. The population uh, is too much. Mm. And, uh, you know, we came in with a uh, tourist visa. Ah, uh, tourist visa. Yeah. 90 days visa, you know. So when your visa finishes, you begin to hide it like you could kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't want to go back. <laughs> you know, that is what you mean. I know if you go to Japanese and go Japanese visa, you will not go back. Man. <laughs> so uh, since that's what comes to you now. See, how can you see heaven on earth? And you want to go you back. You want to go back to the to hell. I'm going to hear you again. No, no, I'm going to <laughs> this is 20 years in Japan. I have not mm. saw power failure. Power failure. Even when they passed the true crisis of earthquake 2011. Mm. Ah, tsunami, yeah. Tsunami that shake the whole world. Mm. Japan, f you know, I didn't saw anything like power failure. So, you know, we must give credit to who deserve credit. Yeah, Japan really deserve. Deserve a credit. It's actually you know? a very big, what? Is Japan beautiful? Your country? Did Japan bless you? Like uh, actually, Japan blessed me. It improved your life. Improves my life. Like in, financially, in, in, in all in all aspects, financially, wisdom, knowledge, in all aspects. Because you need to reason very well. Mm. You need to be hard working. Mm. You know, so we don't need to go, be going to a lot of issues. Yeah. But you need to at least for you to be hard working, mm. know that a nation is being built by hard working. Mm. Uh, Japan taught me a lot, mm. you know. So it's a country that when you wake up every morning, mm. you go to your various jobs, yeah, like end, everybody have yeah. job. Mm. Wow, at the end of the month, you earn your salary, yeah, and do your normal expenses, yes. So, so Japan is really a blessed country. It's a blessed. Mm. It's a blessed. Can you hear it? I have to appreciate him. He's so proud of Japan. So do you intend to go back to Nigeria? Maybe, you know, it was, uh, basically, like majority of us in Nigeria have the mindset that when we grow old, we will go back to Nigeria and grow old there. Do you have such mindset? Do you intend to go back and live your life and die in Nigeria? Something like that. The issue is that no one knows when he's gonna pass out in this world. Yes. So all we what we are doing over here is that we are praying, working very hard mm. to have a very suitable home mm. so that the younger ones over there mm. can enjoy it. Mm. But as for we that have come south, mm. it's not easy going on back going back over there and settle down your life. It's not easy. Yeah. Because there are things Honestly, lives are being practiced, mm. and uh, you can't go to the environment where you find out that honestly, life is not being practiced. Yeah, it's gonna find a very big difficult. Yeah, so you so are used to Japanese system. I'm already too used to. I won't call it. Let me call it a Western world citizen. Yeah, you know, because living a truthful life, yes is yes, no is no. Mm. You know, we should not be going to maybe a topic that people will not, may not be happy with their hearing, mm. but. I must start to be sincere. Yes. So for now, I'm still living in Japan and be proud of Japan. And you love here so much. So, till thy kingdom that come. come. Japan. Or <laughs> <laughs> more, you love Japan. No? I love Japan. More. All I have to do is to assist those there if they can be half sense so that mm. their nation can look like Japan tomorrow. Yes. That's all I can do. Yeah. So, you have heard from our brother. Man, we have lost him. <laughs> He's not ready to come back again. <laughs> <laughs> if we go, <laughs> actually, I have the same mindset with you. Yeah. So now, like when you came to Japan uh, in two thousand and two, compared to now, what difference have changed in Japan? Is there any changes? My brother, I will tell you. Is it changes in my life? 
or the way Japanese lives their life? I mean, changes like is Japan like more? Is there still like more job like when you came before compared to now, or the job is paid higher compared to now? That's the comparison, like economically. You know, how making money then was it easier compared to now? What you know, Japan is a country mm. that who always thinks about the citizens mm. because they know that citizens are the leaders of the nations. Mm. So when when even I came in that twenty years ago mm. up to now, I would say the difference is not is not much. Mm. 2009, 2010, we have an economy meltdown that affected the whole world mm. from America, which affected the whole world. Mm. But still, yet, a lot of people lost their jobs in Japan. Mm. But within two years, mm. they fixed the they job fixed job. everything to make sure that they always be proud of their citizens because mm. they believe that citizens are leaders of tomorrow. Yes. Up to now, they didn't find difference. Mm. Up mm. to now. The same issue of earning salaries and the working, mm. everything. Mm. Uh, that 2009, 2010, a lot of people lost their job. Mm. But at least the late Prime Minister, mm. Abe, that we just lost about, two, ah, about may, a month ago. May he so rest in peace. peace. The a minute silence for Abe. Yeah, so Abe was such a nice man, man. The man done a lot of great job. Yeah. Abe, Abe no miss. Abe no miss. Yeah, he done a lot of great job. Abe, we appreciate you, Abe. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate you. We foreigners really love you, Abe. So he done a great job to yeah. make sure that mm. that the economy came back to the right yes. situation. Right? Yes. So, as there are people that deserve and the, mm. I honor them, I respect them for yeah. loving each other. They prove each. They prove that they love each other by creating jobs that people should work. Yes. Mm. So Japan seen, power. Japan is power. Powerful country. <laughs> great, great, great <laughs> wow. Mm. Man, you know so much about Japan. How is your Japanese? Do you speak and write Japanese? Well, actually, I didn't have opportunity to study. Okay. But at least, I can speak, let me say, 50 or 60 percent. Mm. Yeah, but, mm. you know, our situation when we came in, we don't have anyone. It's very difficult. Mm. So there's no way you say you should study or mm, go yeah, to school. Yeah. It's impossible. Mm. Yeah, so but but this is a country who is proud, create jobs. Mm. They are not after whether you study what they're after is what they told you, obey the law. Mm. If you can work, you earn your living. Mm. They believe that when you are listening and when you are doing, mm. and that is that issue of education they are talking of. Mm. They put it in practice. Mm. Wow. And when, when you tell me to do this thing and I say I won't do it, mm. that means that I don't want to be educated by myself. Yeah. Because mm. when we go to the city, like in our in our downtown mm. Africa, they say we go to school. Yeah. And when we are in the class, they teach us, we learn. Yeah. It's just like when you are in Japan here, you mm. go to work, mm. you are working, and they teach you something, and you start working. Mm. That is that education. Your deal, yeah. Japan is a country that put it in practical, mm. not yeah. theory. Over yeah. there, we do theory. Mm. Here, they do practical and theory. Yes. That is why they are a successful nation. Actually, this thing you said made a lot of sense because I had a friend who is a mechanical engineer. So one day when I was in Nigeria, we were watching television and suddenly something happened to their generator. You know, we use generator yeah. that generates light. Yeah. So the father was like, hey, uh, <laughs> go and uh, check what happened oh. to the generator. He said, no, Papa, we will take it to a mechanic. His father now said, are you not a mechanical engineer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that statement shocked me because his father was also very educated. Very educated. So what he said was true. We only practice a theory, theory, not the practical. Not the practical. Yeah. yeah, you said you have a lot of, you have uh, something, a lot of uh, ideas and experience, my brother. Man, this yeah. food is great. It's great, right? I'm, it's you are really good. enjoying it. That is sweet. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad. And it's delicious. Yeah. I started cooking like when I was uh, 12 years old and I enjoy cooking and it's my joy to see people enjoy my food. Wow. So I am so happy that you are really enjoying this food. It's great. Yeah. So which part of Nigeria are you from? Maybe people from your hometown are actually watching us. I am from Enugu State. Enugu State! That is like uh, the Abuja of the southern eastern part of Nigeria. Yeah. Enugu is amazing 
state, man, I have been there. Big shout out to Enugu. You have a good state there. Yeah. So this is your brother. We are all one actually. Yeah, one. Anambra, Imo State, Enugu, we are all one. Ufunne. Yes, so I know as we both. So if you are from Enugu and you are watching us, say hi to your big bro. He's in the building. <laughs> Welcome. Your bride's in the house. Yes, yeah, so uh, okay guys. Thank you for watching. I think we are going to end it here so that our brother can enjoy his food. Thank you for your time and I hope I invite you next time. No Will problem. you come? You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you all. Thank you all for watching mm. and comment. You're blessed. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>